We're here with an astounding individual. It is Professor Robert Horvitz. He is from MIT, but notably a Nobel Prize winner back in 2012 for your work in oncology and cancer. Welcome. And talk to us. So you say it's like coming home because you work with individuals in Cambridge on your work in oncology. But it's a huge personal price that people pay when it comes to cancer. But there's phenomenal economic prices as well, isn't there, in terms of just the sheer scale of money you feel that's being paid on cancer at the moment? Well, the personal are obvious both to patients and to caregivers. Uh, the economic may not be so obvious. For example, a number I saw, it's not totally current, was $835 billion uh, for the year 2008 in the U.S. alone. That is an enormous cost in terms of, of workforce and, uh, and death disability. Uh, these costs are frankly unmatched by the rather minuscule investments that have been going in to the research that really will lead to the breakthroughs to cause treatments and cures for this horrible disease. Tell us about the ex excitement that might be being seen at the moment and the potential breakthroughs. You've been working with them. Where are we starting to see these trends make a difference and actually the fight against this pandemic beginning to win? Well, the, the traditional cancer cures are basically things like chemotherapy and radiation therapy. And what they do is kill cells. The problem is they kill not only cancer cells, but also healthy cells and sometimes even patients. And so what's been needed is something with much more specificity. And, and today there are a number of breakthroughs that have really led to those kinds of specificities. The first is the Human Genome Project, which was very much driven uh, from this country and, and the United States in a collaboration. And from the Human Genome Project, we now know all of the genes in the human genome, which means it's been possible to identify all of the genes in the cancer of a particular cancer patient. Knowing the specific genes that are abnormal in a cancer means that those genes can be targeted. The second thing that's new and I'm going to say really taken the world of oncology, cancer biology, uh, by surge is that cancer, I mean, people probably know cancer isn't infectious. If I put cancer cells into an animal, that animal wouldn't get cancer. And the reason is the animal has an immune system. It protects against cancer. Occasionally, a patient with cancer will recover. And what's happening in that case is that the patient's immune system somehow has been able to recognize and attack that cancer. Today, biologists have figured out what it is that keeps the immune system from, in general, attacking cancer cells and has learned to unleash that innate ability and attack a cancer in a patient. Where should we be looking in terms of the industry at the moment then, in terms of future trends? Are, is the investment starting to reap rewards? Should we be looking at certain geographies where these steps are being made, where these breakthroughs are getting close? Uh, the investment is unquestionably reaping rewards. I don't know that the breakthroughs are necessarily geographic specific any more than industry and science are geographic specific. And of course there are some specific aspects to that. Uh, but the breakthroughs are coming from a combination of the science and the technology at an ever increasing rate. And basically, there, there are multiple ways that we now think about and are able to affect cancer. We can block the growth of cancer cells. We can cause cancer cells to die. And in fact, that biology was what sent me to Stockholm some years ago. Um, we also can prevent the progression, the spread in new ways. And all three of these areas, coupled with the technologies and the new science, are really what's leading to breakthroughs. We remain positive. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful speaking with you, of course, Professor Robert Horvitz. Not often that you get to speak to a Nobel Prize winner, certainly in such important areas such as cancer, and it looks as though that breakthrough is getting ever closer. Handing things back to you in the studio, Jonathan.